Recently, Jamaica have had talks with the IMF. Where are those talks today? We have a formal submission which will be made next week. Uh, we have a technical team that's meeting with the IMF in Washington towards the end of next week, and we hope to have a response, hopefully final approval from the IMF sometime in October. We are re-engaging with the IMF largely because of the fallout that we have suffered because of the global recession. It has hurt us badly. Now, the IMF doesn't lend you money to fix roads and to pay teachers and so on. The IMF lends you money when you are not able to pay your bills with the rest of the world, your external account, your balance of payments. And our balance of payments have, have suffered badly. I'll just give you an example. Bauxite and alumina accounts for 60% of our merchandise export. Three of our four alumina refineries have shut down. So you understand what that does to us. Um, and it has affected us not just in terms of our foreign exchange earnings, but even in terms of our fiscal accounts, because from bauxite, we would collect about $5 billion in taxes directly, plus what we collect from bauxite workers when they spend their wages and so on. All of that has virtually been lost. So we have had to re-engage with the IMF to tide us over during this difficult period and hopefully to help us get back on our feet after the recession has passed. Uh, we still uh, have uh, certain issues that we have to iron out, not major issues, we have settled the major ones. Um, there are still some, some tidying up to do, which will be done next week when the technical team goes there. And as soon as that is completed, we intend to present that to the Jamaican people. Now, I want to, I'm anxious to say that we have been in consultations with what we call the social partners, both individually and collectively, about the program, about the, the strategies that we are employing. So we have met with the opposition and we have discussed it. We have met with the private sector, we have discussed it. We have met with the trade unions and we have discussed it. And then we have met with all of them together and we have discussed it. Because this consultation is important. It's important that the Jamaican people be kept abreast. And we are dealing with them as the critical stakeholders. But we're also going to go to Parliament and we're going to um, engage that conversation with the Jamaican people to say, now look. Some would say that uh, it's reminiscent of the Michael Manley era. Well, well anybody who says that, I, I just pause, I just interrupt them and say, well, what alternative do you have? Um, we don't ma manufacture, we don't produce oil. We have to import oil. You can't pay for the oil with Jamaican dollars. You have to use foreign exchange to pay for it. When the remittances are slowing down because Jamaicans abroad are losing their job, when our tourist earnings are slowing down because visitors can no longer afford to come as they used to, when the bauxite fall out and we're not earning the dollars from the bauxite, we still have to pay for the oil. Where are, are the dollars to come from? And if anybody who is going to say you are making an error and going back to the IMF, you can't just put a comma, don't put a full stop, and go on to say, now, in order for you to meet your payments that you used to meet from bauxite and tourism and remittances and so on, this is what we are saying you should do to meet those payments. If that sentence is not finished, then the, this, the argument is not one that, that can sensibly pursue. The tourist board motto here in Jamaica is once you go, you know. Well, we are in Jamaica, and Jamaica is still one of the most beautiful places in the world. So I'm asking you to come back home and support Jamaica. You see what we have done on the world stage in track and field. Brand Jamaica is probably now in the top five. As a matter of fact, it's been in the top five. Powerful brand. Powerful brand, Mr. PM. The success of Usain Bolt, Asafa Powell, Shelley and Fraser, just to name a few. And recently we, we, we had the ageless one, Bridget Foster Hilton, going into Berlin, winning a world championship gold medal in the 100 meter hurdles. The success of our track athletes here. How do we plan? How do, how do you plan on, on benefiting from this? Because it is said that the marketing dollars from UCN Bolt's performance in Beijing was worth some $350 million. I wouldn't doubt that. It's powerful stuff. Uh, we're working on that right now. We have Jamaica Trade and Invest with the Ministry of Industry 
uh, and Investment and Commerce, the Ministry of Youth, uh, Culture and Sports, the Ministry of Tourism are all working together to see now how do we capitalize on this. Now how do we capitalize on it in a way that is sustained? Just be, you know, because the euphoria of the games will, will die down. How do, we, how, do, how, how do we perpetuate this? And it's an important, powerful thing. I want to thank them. But let us not uh, ignore, let us not forget for the moment the work that has been done in other areas of, 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 of achievement. In our music, you know, what Ziggy Marley has done, Bounty Killer, um, Sean Paul, Shaggy, uh, those guys have also helped to put Jamaica there, and therefore we have such a, a, a powerful uh, imagery that is out there of what is Jamaica. We have some negative things as well. We have to try and see if we can deal with those. But the thing is to take that now and take that right across Jamaica so that can help to sell our coffee and our manufactured goods and our spices and our jerk this and so on. It, all of that must become part of what we call the Jamaican brand, and that's what we're working on. But how do we put our ownership on it, though, the colors, the Jamaican colors? It, that, that part, part of it is easy. What you need to focus on is how do you prevent uh, others from taking it away from you? And that, of course, has to do with um, IPOs. It has to do with, 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 with copyright, intellectual property. Um, that's where, we, that's where we're, we're focusing a lot of effort. Uh, but we have to. We also have to recognize that uh, we can't leave it to just develop itself. It has to be promoted. It has to be built, and we have to make sure that in every important marketplace, in every place where people come together and things happen, we have to make sure that Jamaica is there and that the brand is there and that it is quite prominently and conspicuously portrayed. Usain Bolt was recently given the Order of Jamaica, and I'm happy for that. He's 23 years old. Yeah. You think he's capable of angling it? Of course. Um, the Great Britain once had a prime minister, William Pitt, who was, became prime minister when he was 23. Now, if a white man can become prime minister of a, of a country as great as Great Britain at 23, why can't a, 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 a Jamaican who has done so well, who has electrified the world, become the Honorable Usain Bolt OJ at 23? All power to him. Do you think at this point, at this point, he is the greatest? I think he's the greatest, uh, certainly the greatest athlete that Jamaica has produced. He's the fastest man alive, fastest man ever. And I think in terms of his achievement, he certainly ranks with Jesse Owens. Um, I, th I think he's as great and perhaps greater than Carl Lewis because in, both, in the case of both Jesse Owens and Carl Lewis, while they won four gold medals, Usain Bolt won three. Neither of the two broke world records in winning any of their four. He broke world records in winning his three. Uh, this guy is super. I mean, this is, this is the closest thing you can get to Superman. And Jamaica is proud of him. He has brought so much joy and glory and pride to our country. He has, he has put hope and ambition in the hearts of all of our young people, and I, I want to thank him for all that he has done to, for our country. I want you to ask the diaspora, or tell the diaspora, something special, something nice about You them. know what I want to say to them mm -hmm. now? Um, I, I know that most Jamaicans in, in the USA, and indeed in most places of the world, they are themselves feeling the stress of the global recession. Uh, many of them have lost their savings, they've lost their jobs. Uh, some of them are having a real hard time. And we, we empathize with you. Uh, we know what you may be going through. We are going through tough times too. But no matter how tough the times become, uh, we are Jamaicans. We are, we are tough people. And I know that we will recover. Uh, we want you to work with us. We want you to always make it Jamaica. Always recognize that this is your country. And no matter how, where you are, what part of the world you may be, no matter how long you've been away, uh, in a sense, we don't consider that you ever left home because we know that your heart is here. And therefore, we always want you to feel that Jamaica is your home. Come home when you, when you can. Come home as often as you can and never, ever turn your back on Jamaica. This country owes you a great deal.